In this video, I will be talking about the physical activities recommendations and guidelines and the benefits of physical activity. So, the guidelines for an adult, which is class 1964 on the NHC website, is at least 150 minutes of moderate aero aerobic activity, such as cycling or brisk walking, every week. So this 150 minutes is a week, not per day, not per two weeks, every week. So you can split it off in a certain amount of times to fix around a schedule in a week. So not, for example, adults will have to fit into a very tight schedule as it is involving work, possibly family life and home life. Uh, you could do strength exercises on two or more days a week. That work all the major muscles, these including legs, so quads, hamstrings, glutes, the main working muscles in the legs, the hips, the back, the abdomen, abdomen, the chest, shoulders and arms, so working the main muscles. Or you could do 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic activity, these being up to, instead of walking for example, you do running or a single game of tennis, so something more fun and more specific to suit your needs. Uh, the, these, the strength exercises would be different. These would be on two or more days a week. That will work all the major muscles. So you're doing a bit more, again with the legs, the hips. And then finally, you could do something else. And this is a mix and a vigorous aerobic activity. For example, two to 30 minutes runs plus, 30 minutes brisk, brisk walking. So it's a mixture, which I think would be best because it would shock the body in different ways. And not follow the same boring routine. Uh, the benefits of this, this will improve your muscular and cardio, cardiorespiratory system and fitness. So this will help your lungs, you'll feel fitter in yourself and it'll be definitely more worth it. Uh, improve your bone health. It reduces the risk of high blood pressure so working out will make you feel better and definitely make your body healthier in the way of you've got re less risk of stroke, diabetes and even some cancers because it's a silent death of just sitting down and doing nothing on the sofa being very stagnant so you really need to fit like follow the guidelines that they say of 150 minutes a week it doesn't sound a lot and I'm sure you could fit into a schedule so you're really doing your body justice of doing uh, exercise because it does lower the risk of blood pressure which is hypertension, coronary heart disease which is a very big one, stroke and diabetes like I said and it will help manage your weight so definitely for overweight people it's the go-to thing you need to do it and your body would feel better for it so these are the benefits of exercise I've gone through the guidelines and um, yeah the for the aerobic activities, if you're stuck on this, are quite simple. I'll put the link in the description for the NHS website um, for more information. But the, it involves such things as brisk walking, water aerobics is a good one for the overweight problem, riding a bike is good for the 150 minutes a week. So you can see on level ground with a few hills when you get into it better. Uh, such games as tennis is a really good one, so things like that. So. Yeah.